So we're heading into the Eastern Conference Finals. Um, the truth hurts. Uh, Paul Pierce seemed to have made another miraculous buzzer beater uh, to beat to beat Atlanta to continue this storied stretch of his and for the Wizards, a kind of a magical postseason run. But it was just after the buzzer. Well, so instead of a buzzer beater, he got beat by the buzzer. Yeah, and he may be retired. He's talking about potentially stepping away. We'll save that for another show. But the most maybe the most bizarre round two I've ever seen, and it's still going on now. Um, Atlanta and Cleveland both advance. Um, you know, Cleveland relying on role players, bench players, to get to the, the next round. Well, Kevin Love going down, Kyrie yeah. Irving with his knee injuries. It's, uh, if anyone's doubting LeBron James at this point, uh, they're, they're, they're sleeping under a rock because yeah. they're not seeing what he's bringing out of this team. Well, looking at this series, which starts on Wednesday, what do you, what do you, what's your first initial thoughts? My initial thought is, because of the lack of Kevin Love, we're looking at two teams that are athletic, play small ball, and so I, I think it's an interesting matchup of, because I think we know what Atlanta's going to do, and this shouldn't come as a surprise. I mean, yeah. oh, we looked at the standings at the end of the year, if we're, if we're going to say the conference finals in the East, we're going to be Cleveland and Atlanta, no one is really going to doubt you. Maybe they would have said Chicago, but you know, that was a tough series. But for me, it's like, how do you play LeBron James? To me, you no, play... No one solved that yet, by the way. To me... Atlanta Luck wants to play uh, uh, Carroll on him. He's yeah. a 6'8", 220, rangy, good defender. So how can you avoid that? If I'm Cleveland, I'm f I'm forcing them to play a guy like Paul Millsap. I'm playing small ball. I'm playing LeBron a lot at the four. Because Paul Millsap's going to get eaten up by LeBron James. And then you play center position. A bit of Mozgov, a lot of Tristan. Because Tristan against a smaller center like Al Horford, I think he'd play well. Um, I, I think if you're the Hawks, it's business as usual. I don't think they, they really change much. I think the same squad goes out there. Spacing's important, lack, uh, you know, diminishing your turnovers, moving the ball well. But when you're Cleveland, a lot of this hinges on Kyrie Irving because Atlanta is going to be able to score the ball. They're not as big of a scoring team as some teams, but they're, Cleveland needs Kyrie Irving. Mm -hmm. And so my idea is kind of the same how I was looking at the Grizzlies Warriors series in relation to Mike Conley in terms of Kyrie Irving. If he plays, I think Cleveland can take this. If he misses a significant portion, I think Atlanta is just cruising. Well, I mean, Kyrie's got two injuries, a uh, knee injury and a foot injury, getting a lot of treatment now, uh, a couple game, days away from game one, and he's still unsure whether or not he's gonna be able to play. Um, there's kind of a, I guess, a running theme in the NBA in, in recent year, recent decades, really, is that you can't win without a starter. And Atlanta's been defying the odds, I'd say, this season. We're working within a system like well, I think Al Horford's playing his way until the start, but he's not quite there. Yeah. No, I get what you mean. And, you know, some are slowly starting to call him a, you know, a mini Tim Duncan. Mm -hmm. I wouldn't go that far yet. I mean, he had a great play to help that I can rebound. see the tie. Um, I think it's like a poor Personal Personality-wise, yeah. leadership-wise. Um, but like I said, in the waning minutes of a tight game, you don't necessarily know who they're going to go to. And I don't know, you know, I guess defensively for for the Cavs that'll be an issue in terms of who to guard, but playoff basketball tends to be kind of hero ball towards the end of games. I mean, we've seen a lot of this. LeBron hitting that amazing buzzer beater a couple of days ago. I mean, do you really think a team, especially without playoff experience and a relatively young coach, do you think they can beat Cleveland, beat LeBron? I think they're very well coached. I think all their guys would have to be firing on all cylinders. Yeah. I think you can't have a letdown, but it doesn't seem like the type of players who have letdowns because mm -hmm. since you spread the ball around, even if one guy gets you 14 instead of 17 that game, another guy will give you 17 instead of 14, right? Yeah. So they're so hard to guard. They're fluid. Yeah. Um, it, it's just interesting of, do they start picking apart a guy like Kyrie Irving attacking with Jeff T and then kicking out from there, or they just play whoever has the best shot, kind of San Antonio Spurs ball. Yeah, I think you have to play with the game you got there with. And um, it's going to be difficult for them. I mean, uh, apparently David Blatt's job, I mean, this is rumor mill stuff, maybe on the line if he doesn't keep That's advancing. an unfair assessment. You, you're brought in with all these new pieces, new NBA coach. Well, he was brought in, LeBron wasn't even there yet. Yeah. Difficult, I don't know. difficult I, situation. I don't think that's fair. I think you should be given a second thing. But we stick to the subject at hand. Yeah. I'm going to say, I'm going to say Cleveland pulls it out. Mm -hmm. Yeah, me too at seven. Yeah. Um, Tristan. 
Thompson really has, he has been stepping up. Well, I think Tristan's going to be a huge factor he's, because he's of what he co- could do on Al Horford and Paul Millsap. I think it's going to be a big difference. This yeah, and Max said he's in a contract here. You know, he's looking to make some big bucks in the, in the offseason, and he, he's doing that right now. And the ability of the wings like the Iman Shumperts and J.R. Smith. See, what they can do almost, mm-hmm. if they want to be funny about it, is they can have a guy like Kyrie Irving actually not have to guard Teague and go play um, uh, Corver. Mm-hmm. Play him on the perimeter, save him a bit of that, and play Iman Shumpert, who has played point guard. He was brought in as a point guard right. to guard Jeff Teague, slow him down there, and maybe stifle the offense. Because if Kyrie just has to follow around, like, yes, he'll have to go around screens and such, but mostly he'll be on the perimeter, so a little less in the wear and tear. Mm-hmm. I think, strategically, if you look at the chess pieces, I think Cleveland can do it. But it's going to have to go right for both teams. Yeah, I mean, LeBron's going to have to be, you know, nearly triple double every single game. All the role players are going to have to step up, and Blatt's going to have to be not making and stupid if they, moves. And if they take this series, people have to really start, uh, you know, quieting those criticisms of LeBron James. He's doing it with, you know, I'm a fan of a lot of his teammates, but it's not the most elite talent. No, it's nothing like what he had with the Heat, especially in the early years. Um, and of course, you know, for ratings wise, everyone wants a LeBron. You know, returning with Cleveland—that's that's been a motif since last summer. And I guess we'll have to see if the headband uh, comes with them. 